Hello everyone, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper. So, last episode, we went and beat the Cursed King and got some experience and loot. I decided to come back to this town to see if I can get some side questing done, but it didn't work out because I have to go through story stuff. So, you arrived at Default Village and the Elder is already waiting for you. Welcome back to Default Village, Pen and Paper Knights. Huh, I guess that's actually the title. I hope you have some good news for us. That's not actually a question, but... The Sunset Castle King told us what he knew. We managed to uncurse him. That's some great news. I'm glad to hear it. I shall contact the King soon. Thanks for your help. Quest is done. Great. So... Achievement unlocked level 5. Okay. Whatever. I guess. Let's see, which skill should I upgrade? Fireball's pretty damn useful. I'll go with it. Okay, so... Let's take a look at our warriors quick. This guy's got a lot of experience boosting items, which is great for him because he is still slightly behind, although he has caught up pretty well now. Yeah, he's managed to make quite a comeback in terms of experience, so I could give one of the experience items to someone else. But we can wait on that. So, there's a few side quests that I can do. This is a main quest. <clears throat> I think I'll do the side quests off camera because they're not really too critical a thing to do. And I don't want things to get too repetitive. I want to keep more story stuff in this little playthrough. So, I will see you in just a couple minutes. Or longer. Alright, so I did all the side quests I seem to be able to do right now. It's interesting because some of the side quests, like this collect five carrots things, actually has you go to an area that is definitely not a level five. So, yeah, it's a little bit more dangerous than you may expect. Like, I went to the castle and I ended up having to do a quest where I went to the Flying Dutchman and had to fight these elite crocodile monsters, which were very dangerous, and there was a step to the quest after that, which would take me to a level 20 area. <laughs> so, I just gave up on that one. But I'm thinking Wolfie is nice for a healer, but he's only got one healing spell. And it definitely takes a lot of mana to use. So I'm thinking, let's add a new character. Because we have two classes left we can get, Paladin or Cleric. And I think I want to go with a Cleric. And I already know exactly who I will bring. Miss Goldberry, because she's got bonus to pretty much everything, including experience gain, so it'll help her level up fast. She's going to start at level 1, but I think that'll be okay. But I'm going to take away this guy's experience boost and give it to Miss Goldberry instead. Oh wait, she doesn't have the level to use that. Right, it's a... Uh... Okay, so she can't actually use it yet. I guess we'll keep it. Anyway, I also found an interesting area that I didn't really know about before because I didn't really go and explore any new areas because you can go anywhere you want. But... 
there's this place called Farm Village, right next to Default Village. And like it says, it's a it's a place where you can farm experience. Basically all there is to do is sleep, travel, check your inventory, and battle. And what you battle are scarecrows. Yeah, let's go with three. And of course, she is instantly killed. <laughs> uh, well, I'll get to show you what happens when a character is killed now, at least. <laughs> that is kind of sad. Now, interesting thing about these is that every single attack you do is super effective on them. So you do more damage, overall. But I forgot these guys were a little bit tough. Let's see, fireball that guy. He'll die next turn. What wonderful luck it is that the first fight I do with her was one that's too hard. There we go. Okay. So, when a character is knocked out, they don't get any experience. By the end of the battle, you can resurrect them, and resurrecting them depends on their level. How much it'll cost. Since she was level 1, it didn't cost a thing. Let's actually head back to Default Village, and we'll fight some rats. Oh, what luck I have. I rolled a 1. That's the second time I've done that. There we go. It's dead. Okay. Five rats. Because it'll give her some more experience. I mean, I didn't choose her skill. I forgot you can choose a skill straight away. Oopsie. Let's get a nice cleave in there. And a stab. There we go. All dead. Hello, kitty. I got a couple cats a couple weeks ago. There's one sitting at my feet now. Maybe she doesn't get a skill right away. Hmm. I don't quite remember it. It was a while since I last played, so... Memory's kind of bad. Let's do some bats. It's more difficult for her, but... She needs the experience. I might be able to just take care of all this with fire with meteor. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so the cleric skills. Circle of healing will heal everyone in the party for a small amount of HP. There's restoration, which does a lot of healing to a single person. Smite, which does. a good amount of damage and heals the cleric and weakening will weaken the opponents I will start with weakening for her because right now I'm just gonna be grinding to get her some decent levels Since I can take care of pretty much all these guys with a single blow for most of my team, this works out pretty well in my favor. Hmm, that actually didn't kill anything. Let's try weakening. So yeah, it, it weakens a group, and that group will do less damage. That's pretty useful, actually. Got a 
have to smack it with my stick. There we go. Now, is that enough to get her another level? Yep, good. Alright, so then we'll do Circle of Healing. And now I can equip her with. I'll go with this ring. Okay. So I'm gonna do a few more battles like that, get her at least level 8. So we can continue on our adventure. So see you in a couple seconds. Alright, and I'm back. Our new cleric is now level 8, and everyone else is level 14. I'd say that was a good bit of XP farming. Even got a couple new items that I equipped the cleric with. A sand rose, which increases health by 1. The beak, to increase attack. I've gotten a few of these dead pixels. They give 2% life steal and 2% mana steal. I don't know if that really works, but whatever. Seems to. Seems to help. I think. <laughs> I don't really know. I have this ectoplasm, which gives plus 1 attack and plus 10% extra potion effect. I figured that'd be a good idea to give to the warrior, since he's most likely the guy I would use potions on. Rogue has not got much on him. But I was thinking I should go to the shop and buy maybe something for the furniture on the right here. Probably the blacksmith one because that'll make it cheaper for me to do stuff with the blacksmith. And everything else is kind of nice. But the blacksmith one I probably will get the most use out of, so let's buy that. And... I was eyeing this door. It's very cheap, and it gives... 2 HP regen. So... Let's, let's give that a go. Okay. Alright, let's start this new quest. The Sunset Castle King told me what happened. I believe that since the stone was broken, the stone fragments must still be around. Monsters in the forest might be carrying some of them. The little stones glow at night, and they probably picked them up. You should go to the ancient jungle to investigate. I heard that place is a bit dangerous. I'm sure you're good enough to handle this task. I'm pretty sure we are too. Let's head to the Ancient Jungle, which is just down here. It's only a level 6 area, so we should be able to handle it no problem. Okay. So we just need to find five small black stones. Yeah, this should be no problem. Let's do a bunch of vine traps. Even with my level 8 cleric, this should be no problem. Let's see, let's do weakening on these guys, just so they can't really do any damage to us. Look at that, we regenerate a lot of HP per turn, on the warrior at least. Everyone else I think only regens 3. Which is an effect given to us by the book we have here, which gives plus 1 MP and HP regen, and then the door, which gives us the plus two. So, it's a good amount of regen. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but it's it's enough for doing these small peon fights. I'm not even going to bother using magic with my wizard. For her, though, I think I'll use her smite. So that's a good amount of damage.
Yeah, it does a lot more than her regular attack. No, oh, that was that was fast. Oh, we got four small black stones. A stone fragment of ritual minus two blacksmith cost. Huh. Interesting. So let's try adding a few giant grubs and then a couple vine traps. Let's start out by doing a cleave to the grubs. And then pouring a weakening effect on them. Double strike this vine trap. Fireball that one. Wolfie will take that one out. Hm, these guys actually regen health. It's kind of frustrating. And that vine trap should just kind of combust and die come its turn. Yep, there we go. Throw a fireball on that one. Finish this guy off. Use a strike on that because strike does more damage than my regular attacks. And a smite. There we go. And it's dead. So that should be the rest of the small stone fragments we needed. Oh yeah, lots of stone fragments. Travel to default village to turn in the quest. Yeah, my nose feels really stuffed up now for some reason. Good job, let's hope we can track that mage based on what these stones can show us. We're gonna zoom in and out like those TV shows and find who did it. <laughs> it's a fantasy world, different from the TV world. Yeah, I suppose that's true. The Elder checked the stones, but didn't succeed in discovering anything like he thought he would. I'm sorry I could not track the mage with the stones. You should try something different. Maybe you'll find some clues out there. You should go to Journey Village. You might find you might get some info there. Quest is done. I got some toothpaste. Is that an item? It is an item. Restores 5 HP. Very interesting. How is that how does it restore 5 HP? You remember that carrot collecting quest? It changed to a level 16 now. Well, I guess we'll start traveling to Journey Village then, because there's not really anything else I can do here. Journey Village is in the desert. Huh. But you know, there's actually a blacksmith at the Sunset Castle. We should head there first. Because I have lots of grindstones. There you go, blacksmith. And you can upgrade the blacksmith. Ah! So you give the blacksmith grindstones. And that upgrades him, and increases his success rate, and unlocks new things for you to craft. Don't have any grindstones. I guess, let's give this a try. No, let's not. It's a very low success rate, I don't really want to risk losing that much gold and not getting anything back for it. Uh, one thing I did find out while I was not recording is that this tavern allows you to leave your characters here 
where you can either reset them or delete them or rejoin the group. So you can leave people here and then bring new characters in. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder... Yeah, it doesn't let you add any more different classes of the same class, so... The only real reason you would leave someone here is if you wanted to bring the sixth class that's not in your party with, for some reason. I don't really see a point in that. For me. Well, let's head to Journey Village then. This is kind of a waste of time. It's a long journey to Journey Village. But it was completely uneventful. Quest is done. Let's see. Ooh, easy. Collect items dropped from monsters and gain 50% more gold. Deliver a weapon, which is a very high quest. Slay enemies. There's cactus, snakes, and giant bugs. I think we better just start with this quest, just to introduce ourselves to the town. You look around to find something to do in the village. You spot a woman that has a certain sadness on her face. You try talking to her to see what's going on. Could you tell us what happened? You look sad, blah, blah, blah. Hello, adventurer. It is my brother. He was killed a while ago. There's a mage that everyone says is trying to perform a forbidden ritual. It looks like this is part of the ritual. He loved sand roses. Roses? sand roses that are spread all over the sands of time desert. I can't really gather any of them because it's too dangerous. We can do that. We just have to travel to the sands of time desert. It's a level 10 area. Okay. <laughs> I like that the TARDIS is sitting in the sand. So we need to collect five sand roses, moving dunes, flame stings, sand sacks. Let's go with three moving dunes for now, because I don't know what they're like. Ah, they can do a cleave type attack. That certainly is interesting. Uh, how do you like my cleave? Ha! Ah, I do more damage. Although I imagine that that cleave attack actually would hurt if they weren't weakened. Hmm, they resist magic. But my rogue can kick their ass pretty well. Everyone's healed! Do a bit of Feral Rage on that guy, get a little extra bleeding damage in there. Deep Freeze to stun that guy. There we go. That wasn't too bad, I guess. I got Sand Rose. And my cleric leveled up. Level up the restoration so that way when I need to do that I can get a lot more healing in. Although my circle of healing does a lot more healing power overall. But it takes more mana. Yeah, whatever. Right, I think I can handle five of these guys. They're not that bad. We'll start out with a concussive blow on this guy. Throw some weakening effects on these guys. Do 
do a hibernate on the guy in the back. Then hit everyone with a meteor storm, which wakes up the guy in the back completely in the game I hibernate. Why did I do that? <laughs> it was a waste of my time. they resist magic, but it gets a good amount of damage across all of them. Do another weakening on them, just to keep it in place. Ugh, had a yawn. Guys are so easy, it's boring me. Okay, how many roses did I get? Four, that's exactly what we needed. Let's travel back to Journey Village then. You did it! Thank you so much! It wasn't hard at all. You have some difficulty finding the woman's brother's grave. The description she gave you was not good enough. Maybe you should look in the Sands of Time Desert. Okay then. We're being attacked! Protect the roses! Of time! And, and sand. Oh, my cleric's been put to sleep. That kind of sucks. Feral Rage. And a little bit of fire. That will make sure that guy dies next turn. We'll do a strike on this guy so he's weaker. matter much because he's dead anyway. Victory for us. All of a sudden you step on something rigid. You look down and see the inscription, Woman's Brother's Grave. You place the sand roses on his grave and hear a strange sound. The grave trembles, you step aside, you're all terrified by the loud sound. You woke me up, thanks. So your name is, we just know you by woman's brother. I never knew my name, I shall return home and talk to my sister. She thinks you are dead, are you sure? Wait, what happened? I got cursed by the black mage, I remember someone was controlling me and then I was put to sleep like I was dead. You woke me up when you brought that sand rose to my grave. It reminded me of my sister and awakened me. That's kind of a... Even Disney knockoffs are better at thinking up of ways of being magic than that. It's just a little bit lame. Let's upgrade Cleave some more. And three more levels of Cleave. I will be able to do full attack strength with my cleave, which will be pretty badass. What quests are, do we have here? We're slaying monsters. We're traveling back to the village. Let's just head back. Hurry up to Journey Village. Question awaits you there. He has a lot to talk to you about. Travel, listen to the story. You 
You have arrived at Journey Village and hurried to listen to Question's story. Hey Question, we have come to find out about what happened. Hello again, are you ready for a story? It all began some nights ago. A powerful mage tried to get me, the Forest Temple's guardian, to work with him. So the mage enchanted you and stole the artifact. I think that the Forbidden Ritual needs the needs all the other temple artifacts. If he manages to do it, he'll be powerful enough to travel between worlds. These artifacts are known as the pen and paper artifacts. I have so much to do, be careful. Uh-huh. Okay then. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I might have gone a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but it was an interesting time. So hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you next time, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and goodbye.